Hey friends, my name is Cloud and I have another unboxing from a lovely, lovely stationary artifact store in Tampa, Florida called the Paper Seahorse. So this is my 2024 Traveler's Company artifacts that I had pre-ordered because unfortunately last year I procrastinated. I didn't get to take advantage. He's part in the unintentional ASMR. Okay. So, um, here's a little goodie. I'll show that after. So, we have here just a little, uh, just some words of wisdom, mindfulness tips. Get into the flow of reducing anxiety begins with slowing down and getting into a flow state. Get lost in the moment. Lose track of time. When was that last time did you do did you, you did that? Start a journal. Make with your hands. Write a letter. Just a really cute thing. I love the paper seahorse. I have been buying all of my Travelers Company artifacts from them since I started my journey in 2016. So this over to the side. Here's their lovely postcard. I even got to choose one as well. So yeah, they're absolutely awesome. Unwind and get your analog on. Okay, so wow. Uh, these are their sticker um, set that comes with the clear round stickers, the schedule stickers, the index stickers, which I use, and I definitely use the clear round. I use all of these stickers. I've tried to use the dry transfer. I'm still learning how to do that. And here's a customized sticker. Now I like to buy two because I have a collection of these. These are all these all mean the world to me. So um, I do love the gold foiling and the brown and the blues. Very beautiful. This actually almost looks like a real patch. All right, I'm gonna set this over here. Now I got the standard size clear folder. And I love that because that's all hand drawn. And I'm I'm really big with architecture, so this is definitely something um that they the Traveler's Company, they put a lot of love and thought into their artifacts. So this is definitely something that's going in my Traveler's notebook. I also got one in passport. I couldn't resist. That's awesome. Look at that. All right. Now here are the shitashiki boards or the pencil boards. So I have them in standard and in uh, passport. So travelers, welcome to Travelers Town. I love the, the map here and all the details they have going on here. Travelers Records, Travelers Diner, which I did get the special edition. And Paper Seahorse is going to be uh, I believe getting another order of these. So those that didn't get to take advantage of all the sets, take advantage um, and order. The hotel, uh, the train, oh, this is awesome. And you have the small one, the passport size. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the optical sign and the Japanese onsen sign too. And then here is the standard. It's always going to be the same color for the monthly. I believe the weekly comes with two, um, like like an avec, uh, to separate six months. And then here's the back of it. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna open this up here. And what I'll normally will do here is these beautiful stickers. I will leave this actually on the front like this. And I'll just use double-sided tape. And then I'll put a sticker like right there or something. Just nice and simple or go crazy with the extra stickers. You know, you buy all these stickers and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to waste them, you know. This is awesome. This is their 2024 Traveler's Guide. So just their booklet every year that talks about traveling and the joy of travel and taking your traveler's notebook with you. This one's a little bit more detailed and um, 
there, yeah, there are detailed information if you just scanned the barcode down here. I keep forget, oh, they, forgot the name of it. And then this is all their artifacts that they do sell. And what's nice, it shows their full list here, a uh, lineup of the black, brown, camel, blue, and olive. I believe I have all of them. I, I do have the 2017 version of the olive. I've never opened it. It's still in there. And I actually got it from the Paper Seahorse. All right, and then I got a little, um, another little goodie in here. Oh, okay, awesome. A little sticker and a little book. This is from Kaveco. I got the Kaveco Toyama edition. Um, I saw it online and I fell in love. I do have a, a, a line of Kavecos that I own myself. But if you can see in the light, there's like a light shimmer. I got it in the extra fine. And they always include an extra, um, an ink to start off with you, unless you have the, um, the ink, uh, filler for it. But definitely, oh, this is awesome. So here is my 2024 Travelers Company unboxing. Just wanted to show you in comparison. I'm going to move all this artifacts and I did pull out my extra artifacts I have here throughout the years. So, as you know, this is the 2024. I didn't get the 2023. Like I said, I procrastinated. I don't know what I did with it. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know why I didn't get to do it, but it I just didn't. Um, here's the 2022. I don't know where my 2021 is and my 2020. Here's my 2019. My 2018. My 2017. And my 2016. I have two of these. I've never used them. One day I'll go to Japan and use them. And this is when they were under the design fill. For when they did the first their major collaboration with uh, Pan Am Airways. Which... I, these are my price collections here. Um, and then here's all the um, passport size. So 2024, 2019, 2018, 2017, which I love this one because it reminds me of this one. This is the 2016 uh, Pan Am uh, for the uh, passport size. And then I believe... No, you know what? I, I don't have it. I'm sorry. I'll have to find the... I, like I said, I don't know what I did with my 2020 and 2021 uh, Travelers... Oh, no, I'm sorry. 2020 Travelers Company um, pencil boards. But yeah, I just wanted to put them all together here and just show everyone. Um, like I said, I love Travelers Company. I love all things stationary especially when it has that travel theme to it and that's what really caught my attention when i first heard about travelers company i went nuts um i'm probably going to use uh this this i bought in 20 i think it was 20 uh 16 because i do have i still have it wrapped up i have the 20 uh, i believe it was the 20 uh, 15 version that still had the midori so, I, uh, Traveler's Notebook. So, this one I customized. Um, I added an extra loop. So, instead of just one, I have two. So, it won't um, rip. And I just basically tied it to the back there. I learned this from a YouTube uh, YouTuber. Uh, her name, her page is FP Physicist. She was amazing. And um, I learned a lot from her videos. And... I learned this too, just, you know, to literally tie another one and you can either just tie it like this or just buy that extra kit and add a, uh, an extra class to it. I, I believe I have it on my black leather version. Give me one second. I'll show you real quick. I 
actually, I don't have it. So um, at the moment, I, that's why I really need to organize my Traveler's Company goodies, my artifacts that I have. But thank you, everyone. First of all, thank you for enjoying my first video with voice. Um, so many lovely comments, so many new friends I've made. And I'm looking forward to um, making more friends through the wonderful uh, stationary world, artifact world that we all collect here. And we enjoy it. So once again, my 2024 uh, Traveler's uh, Company planning goodies that I can't wait to use. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the inside. So here I'm just going to slightly open it. And everyone knows how these are. And I love the monthly because you have so much space. That's what's amazing. You can really write a lot when needed. And, and just as simple for me. The weekly spreads and stuff, that's just a little too much. This is good enough. I write pretty small, so it'll fit. So this should work. All right, friends. This is your friend Clouds. Thank you so much for taking the time and uh, checking out my video. Have a lovely time, and I'll see you on my next unboxing. Um, I will definitely check out, uh, go over my previous items that I unboxed for Hobonichi. So I'll definitely sh uh, go into more details with those. So everyone, take care. See you soon. Bye.